Sing along if you know the words. Here we go. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the program. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Well, mm -hmm. hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the program. Welcome everybody. How you doing? Today is amazing, an amazing day in uh, in American history. One of the greatest, one of the greatest obstacles uh, that a, a sitting, a former sitting American president has ever had. Uh, I don't think there really is precedence because Trump is, in modern history, one of the only. Presidents that have been president to have lost, to have rerun and is winning. But but that precedence aside, Trump has made history today in that Trump's business, right? Trump's business dealings are now public. Do you know that? DWAC and Truth Social and his other mergers are trading right now, this morning, IPOing on the NASDAQ. Trump has a 58% stake in the company. He's going to make $4 billion on paper today. Now, there's, there's another phenomenon, what, what people fail to understand about the stock market that I'm going to explain to you. Uh, Trump is bringing a company public. It's a merger, whatever the fucking details are, it doesn't matter. Trump has 58% shareholder in that, right? Right now in New York, Trump is in the in the hole for was 450 million. He got that knocked down to 175. Right? So Trump's got to fess up 175 million. His company right now, he's sitting on 3 Four four billion dollars. You know how many hundreds of millions of dollars that is, right? Trump is loaded now. There's there is some sort of uh, efficacy, uh, some sort of uh, 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 honesty amongst thieves uh, on Wall Street, but not really. And that honesty has something to do with if. You're the major shareholder in a company and it goes public. You're supposed to hold those shares for a while so that everybody can, so it doesn't sink. Because if you start dumping three, uh, $3 billion worth of shares, the stock is going to tank on the first day. Now, Trump and his, and his family, right, they don't give a fuck about that. Right? That's what you have to worry, you have to wonder about Trump. Because Trump has a history of going bankrupt, the history of... You know, fending for himself, taking every grabbing what's there, but it, what what's fascinating about this this move again? D, you can't make it up. D, it's right here. I'm watching it right now. It's sixty three. It's going to IPO. It's sixty three dollars a share, twenty seven percent above what they thought it was. So they brought it live at fifty. It's currently. It's not even open yet. Another. It's already sixty three eighty, right? Right. It says billions and billions of dollars. Trump's financial worries just went away. Right? Because now, every, and, and the other factor is, every time Trump makes noise, every time Trump gets into some sort of you know, media tobacco and, and, and financial bullshit, or, or another Joe Biden uh, um, fucking indictment, felony indictments from the government coming down on Trump— Every time that happens, what happens to Trump? He gets more popular. He makes he gets increasingly popular. So 
there's no stopping Trump at this point, right? You, you, I, I hope people realize that Trump, if you think he was lucky before, he just stepped in 300, not three, I keep saying 300, three billion dollars in excess cash, right? That's what Trump is now sitting on. He can now go to banks and use his 58% stake in a, in a publicly traded company that's trading on the NASDAQ at $63 a share. Right? He can get massive, massive money. So Trump is now flush in cash. Right. So I, I hope that's clear, and we'll, uh, I'll talk more about it. This is, I don't know why I put these two clowns. These are two... Um, uh, there's also P. Diddy in the news right now. Uh, P. Diddy, there's federal agents raiding his mansions while he's uh, in the Bahamas somewhere. They got, his, they got photos of his kids in handcuffs. And what did P. Diddy do? What did P. Diddy do? The rapper. Why now? Why him? Why now? Well, they're saying it's sex charges. Or could it be that, that, uh, that the black vote... <laughs> Does it have to do with the black vote? See, these two fellows right here, these two animals, one guy pushed uh, a pedestrian in front of a train, and the other one shot a cop. Right? These are, this is what's going on in New York City in, the, in, the, in the, uh, the racial tensions. While Donald Trump is rising, I know that two things that probably shouldn't be together, and I don't, I don't know why I put them together, um, but, uh, but they are together. I, I guess I started with one story and then I, I, I landed another one. But it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, combination <laughs> of stories because the world is very fucking twisted today, right? But, uh, man, Trump is, Trump is gold right now. You, I, I, just, I don't think people realize just how fucking golden Donald Trump is right now. His hair is way more gold than it ever has been. So welcome everybody in the chat. Vinny Martini on the wrench. What's up, Vinny? Vinny's in the house. Uh, Weevil Girl also in the house. Born Annoying is back, is here as well. I saw uh, William R. Hall, the artist from Syracuse, in the house as well. Uh, and everybody else who's, who's here. Zutsu Kuda, my brother. My brother. Facet Pay Fines. Passive Pay Fines. Pa Passive <laughs> Facet Pay Fines is here as well. David Brown, good morning. MZTRX. Mm. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Marcus Conte. I have a website. If you like these stories and other fine stories, uh, will uh, just join me every every morning. Uh, never know where it's going to go. Uh, most of the time, I don't even realize what the fuck I'm talking about until I start talking. Uh, I'm I'm reading the news like you are. I'm awakening to what's happening in our world uh, in real time. Right with all with all of you folks. I'm just the reader. Right. I'm just the uh, the stenographer. Right? Every morning, 9 a.m., Monday through Thursday, uh, Eastern Time here in the United States of America. Uh, we're live. Uh, if you want to help the program, you can do it through Zelle here in the, uh, the Americas uh, bank transfer, or you can do PayPal Patreon, because this is an un unmonetized station, man. This thing flies on the fucking, on the, on the hopes that s somehow I'll get in this stock when I'm supposed to, right? It was 56 when I woke up around, I don't know, but when I first saw it, about 637. And now it's, it's, uh, 50, it's up 4 or $5. That's, those are big moves. It's a big move. I don't know if it's going to stay up there. You have to see uh, the first, you know, I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling, this is my, my gut, uh, this one, D, DJT, this IPO is going to go very high. It's going to probably go to 100 and, 20, 25, and then it's going to plunge <laughs> as people start to sell it. But uh, I would say Trump's team is ready to start selling as it goes up to raise cash for their latest debacle in New York. They need $150 million. It's not a lot. But uh, they'll probably shave that off Trump's... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Weevil Girl says, is Trump gold or broke? It's not. He's not broke. He can't be broke. He's now sitting on a 58% stake in a company that is is going public today and is widely popular. Trump's worries are over. Right? Trump's media like Bloomberg. Remember when Bloomberg Bloomberg started mayor of New York, he was worth like 5 billion. Now he's worth like 100 billion. That's what happens. Trump is not as savvy as Bloomberg, but he's doing it. So Trump's not broke anymore. Trump made his money on the back of haters. 
per, per se, right? So, um, so let's start here. Uh, I, I didn't, not much, not much talk for me about it, but uh, a bridge fell down. A bridge over Baltimore has collapsed. Uh, it looks like the Francis Scott Key Bridge has collapsed after a ship collision in Baltimore, right? There's the image. You can't make it up. There's nothing more to really say about it. So, so the, the, the carrier was a Sri Lanka carrier uh, heading out of the port. And it looks like it slammed into the support, right? It slammed into one of the two main supports and knocked down the whole fucking bridge. There's dead people here. You're watching. Yes, there was people. There were cars on the bridge. And then they plunge into the frozen water. Amazing, amazing fucking footage. Look at that. The whole thing just like, it looks like a, like a toy. Collapsed. People dying. People dying right there. You're seeing people die. The flo they're, they're floating in their car in the frozen ocean. Right. So, um, so that's really all we know about it. Uh, seven missing. I think that number is going to go higher. It was a cargo ship. Yes, it was heading to Sri Lanka. I already, I already told you that. So, so, uh, so that's happening. Uh, also, T. B. Uh, P. Diddy, P. Diddy, the great rapper, who I personally cannot name it, even one song that P. Diddy has ever, ever done, I, because I'm white, or because his music sucks. Uh, it's one or the other. Right? I, I don't know. You pick it. Right? Is, do I not, well, let's do a survey. Does, does Conti not know P. Diddy's music because he's white or because P. Diddy's music sucks? Right? So one is, one is, is uh, white and two is uh, P. Diddy sucks. Right? One or two. Let's vote. Let's vote in the chat if you're here. So P. Diddy, why did they raid his house? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sex trafficking? Come on. Come on, man. T P. Diddy, this is this is the equivalent of P. Diddy throwing a massive fucking party with his teenage kids there, young kids. He has young kids. Right? He has two young kids, King and Justin. Right? And uh, and P. Diddy's a sex trafficker. Come on, this is bullshit. They probably had a party in the yard. There was a couple of young girls there. Right? And and so what? He's got teenage kids. This is, you're allowed when you have teenage boys, sons. You're allowed to have teenage girls at the party, right? Why not? Why not? Right. Um, I, again, I don't know the details to this. Uh, I, I really don't care. It does. It just seems that P. Diddy said he pissed off the wrong people. Maybe he's not backing the Democrats. Maybe they, you know, the Democrats now see. Uh, all lucrative blacks as a danger to them because they're going to flip to, to Trump and the Democrats are not going to sit by and let that happen, are they? Oh, hell no, blacks. You've got you to toe the Democrat line or you're, a, uh, you're Uncle Tom. You're doing the bidding of the white man. Right? So, stuff like that, they'll tell them. Right? Is that what's going on with P. Diddy? Is P. Diddy uh, a fucking... Uh, child molesting animal rapper, or is he just on the wrong side of the law right now, the wrong side of the politics? I'd say the latter. I'd definitely say the latter. Uh, so there he is, P. Diddy. Don't know his music. I don't think of him as a musician. I think of him as a fucking politician, really. So P. Diddy getting dragged off to, uh, he didn't get dragged off to jail. They raided his house in LA and Miami while he was somewhere else. He was in the Bahamas right? so they don't, he's not arrested they're just taking his shit going through his shit uh, what we got here what we got here so let's keep watching this thing 6260 uh, on uh, Trump uh, Technologies uh, DJT at uh, 9.17 a.m. Marcus Conti calling this one 63 right now I think it's going to go up significantly at the at the bell we're going to see the bell. I'm going to make sure I'm on the bell in 12 minutes, and we'll, we'll watch it together. Uh, bridge collapsed, yes. P. Diddy, house raided, yes. Commuter killed after being pushed in front of a moving New York City subway train in unprovoked attack. 
Now, while all of this is happening, while, while Golden Boy is making his $3 billion in the stock market, Donald J. Trump, people are still getting pushed by angry blacks. Yes, angry blacks are doing this. This guy did it. This psychopath on the fucking train platform pushed a commuter in front of the train and killed him. When you get hit by a moving train, you die. Uh, you get stu- you get cut in half if you get squashed between, or you get you get your fucking head severed because it's laying on the track and the wheel rolls over you and you die. Now where I was in in Taipei, um, there is this is not possible. You can't fall in front of the train because everything is blocked. Right? There's a door. There's there's like a a, a protection right here on the yellow part. I don't have a picture of it, but I, I could. it opens and closes in front of the door. So the, the, when the train is pulling in, you can't fall in front of it because everything is blocked off with plexiglass. You can't fall into the train in, in, in those places. But in New York, because we're fucking 80 years behind the times, look at this, look at this subway. 125th and Lex. 125th and Lex. You know what's happening above 125th and Lex on the street? It's like an open fucking heroin methadone uh, crack market, right? zombies walking around. It's like the, uh, it's like Philadelphia, but uh, New York. And so, so this this psychopath, he wasn't having a good day. So he went down in front of the tra- down down into the subway, and pushed somebody in front of the fucking train, right? And then there's uh, this guy too. This guy, come on up, pop it. There we go. Uh, NYPD cop 31 shot dead. Another one, career criminal. Here's the cop, and here's the animal that shot him. There he is. There he is. Another one. Another. Another. Another outstanding uh, um, citizen. Uh, he's a. He's a. He's a. A, a racial uh, a warrior. Right. <laughs> he's a warrior for the underprivileged. Right? This guy shot a cop in the face, killed him. Shot him in the stomach while on a. A routine stop. I just point these things out because this is this is um, it's happening at the same time. You know what I'm saying? While Trump is is ascending to power, and a bridge is falling down in Baltimore, getting hit. Right? Uh, uh, there are there are radicalized and dangerous fucking people, mostly in this case, radicalized blacks, right? Somehow justifying killing people. Right? Shooting cops in the stomach at a routine stop or pushing some nobody in front of a train. That's a fucking scary thing. That doesn't happen everywhere. That's happening in America right now. Right? Is it politics? What is it? What's causing it? I don't know. Mental illness? Legalized marijuana? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Right? I don't know, man. But uh, this is the news as I see it. So let's talk about Trump. Uh, a few more minutes uh, creeping up. Look, 64 now, 64.15. People are buying it. People are buying Trump. They are buying it. Uh, people are buying it. What do we got here? So Trump's net worth balloons to $6.4 billion, joins list of world's 500 richest people on eve of his media company's NASDAQ debut. Do you, does anybody... Hello, liberal left. Hello, TYT Network. Do you know what this means to your career? Do you know what this, what this means? Trump is the new fucking landlord of the media. That's what it means. That's what it means. All right. The more this stock goes up, the more flush Trump is in cash, and the more fucking Wall Street support he's going to get. Uh, you don't just go public on Wall Street with an IPO unless you got very, very, very powerful friends like banks. Big banks are backing Donald Trump's IPO. They're not running away from Trump. They're running at Trump. They're running to Trump. Oh, oh, we love you, Trump. That's what's happening. It's not, it's not what's happening. It happened. Now, what are you going to do about it? So Trump's net worth balloons to $6.4 billion. Nah, all his problems just went away. Trump is no longer the, the, the issue of can Trump put up a half a, million, half a billion, $454 billion? 
<laughs> excuse me, $454 million is what he owed in the Letitia James uh, bullshit, right? And he got that knocked down to 175 or 171. So he's he's now he now stands to make uh, that that's not going to be a problem for him personally anymore. A hundred million dollars when you just made three and a half billion is nothing. Former President Donald Trump's net worth jumped to sixty four billion on Monday after the merger between Digital World Acquisitions Corp. and Trump Media and Technology, DWAC, right? DWAC. You remember I was talking about DWAC a long time ago? That shit went, it was like $12. The fucking shit went all the way. Now it's like, now you can't touch it. Right? Now if you have DWAC stock, you now own DJT, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> he got his own, he got his initials on the fucking NASDAQ, man. Talk about, talk about power. So, excuse me. For the first time ever, Trump 77 will be listed on the Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. Of the 500 richest men in the world, richest people in the world, excuse me, gender correct, <clears throat> excuse me. The, the real estate mongers, mongers previously peak net worth, net worth was 3.1. Right, so they had him in at 3.1. Now he's 6.4. <laughs> Trump just went up in net worth, real net worth, real fucking tangible with evidence that that's how much he's worth, just went up $3.3 billion. Holy shit. Uh, what else? Uh, Trump, Trump's net worth ballooned $4 billion, all right, after the successful manga be- merger between his media group and DWAC. Trump has a 58% personal stake in the publicly traded entity. <laughs> 58% of the company. He's a fucking monster shareholder. Monster. He's, he's, he's Bill Gates. He's fucking Steve Jobs. Right. Trump is unstoppable, and he's, the, he's going to be the president of the United States. Right? Trump is Trump's on the rise. Trump Media's largest asset is Truth Social. It, 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 stop me, you know, talk me down if I'm inflating this. If I'm not, if I'm too excited about this, you know, let me know, you know, because I, I don't think so. I think, I think when, when something like this happens, now, it, there is the possibility of, of the stock tanking, but where's the evidence of it? It's only going, it's going up. Look, it's 67.8 right now. No stopping. It's going up. People are piling in. Right, they're piling in this morning. Right, that's what's happening. Right, we're refereeing this one. We're refereeing. Uh, where are we? How come my windows aren't popping? So 68% personal stake. That is massive. Trump's media assets, social, truth, truth social. Um... They're saying uh, in the New York Post, after the aftermath of January 6, 2021, riot at the Capitol, his truth social uh, account went big, got bigger, right? because he got kicked off Twitter and Facebook in 2021. Poor people that are sitting in jail for that still. People are sitting in jail right now. Uh, uh, Mikkel Sly, who was a, a, a lurker, a participant on this program, Mikkel Sly, sitting in the can for four years. For, for just being there, for, for being there and playing rugby with the cops out on the patio. Uh, he got four years in jail. And there's other people, right? The leaders of the, uh, the uh, alleged MAGA movement, 30 years in prison for that. Trump's got to get him out, man. Trump's got to get him out. You know, use your media, spin it, do whatever you got to do. You got to get those people out. His vast increase in wealth comes on the same day he snagged a last-minute legal victory. When a New York appeals court ruled, he could post a dramatically, a drastically reduced bond of $175 million to fight the massive judgment, which was $464 million. Right, so he, Trump got his, his legal woe that he couldn't, he couldn't cough up $464 million. He got that knocked down to $175 million. At the same time, in one day, he went up. $3.5 billion in net worth. 
math was never my favorite subject or was I ever good at. But this is easy math. This is easy. I, they keep making Trump stronger and stronger. Uh, Trump's lawyers previously told the court that the former president failed to secure the... Uh, Trump, uh, I got a lot of cash, says Trump. <laughs> I have a lot of cash, Trump said during a press conference Monday. It sure does. It's going to have a lot more at fucking 930. Two more minutes. We'll put up cash or bonds very quickly. Securities, cash or bond, whatever it is, he added. We'll put it all up quickly. All right. So that's what Trump is doing right now. It's almost going to 70 a share right now. Let's watch. Let's watch. So it's 929 New York time. And uh, are we open? It's 70, 70, 50 going up. Going up seventy dollars and fifty cents to seventy dollars nineteen. Uh, going higher. We're going higher. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. PM. Just need to get through the pre market. It's not quite open yet. Not quite open. One more minute. Thirty seconds. Seventy dollars and forty four cents for Donald Trump. His opening day. Opening day. Um, all right. Ding, ding, ding. Are we open yet? Ah, there it is. 71. 71. 71. 70.93. I feel like a sports commentator. And Trump is Trump's wealth. Right? This is Trump's wealth right here. Again, it, it's I, I say it's going to go up. I, I think it's upon there. Ding. It just opened. It just opened. Now... At the first print, 70, 50, it's fluctuating. 70, 50. It's frozen at 70, 50. Just give it a say. 70, 65. 74 went off, 71. Uh, so the, the trades are all over the place between 70 and 75 right now. 70. People selling 70, 45, 71, 72, 39. A lot of action. 72, 80. 72, 72 flat, 75, ding, 75, 76, 77, there it goes, there it goes, Trump's running away with it, Trump is running away with it, 78.50, you see what I'm saying, Trump is loaded right now, everybody's buying right now, it's all buying, it's all buying, buy side, buy side, yeah. um, yep, Three billion. Trump is loaded right now. So, uh, so thank you all for joining me. Yeah, that's really all I got. I just want to watch this. I'm gonna enjoy uh, watching watching Trump uh, skate out of his legal uh, dilemma. All right. In America, you know, it's 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 obvious. Right? I think it's it's always been obvious. Oh, up up up. Seventy three. We're going down. Uh, that uh, money uh, money will will fix your problems. Right. Trump had a lot of problems. Trump had ninety one felony charges. Uh, banks don't care. Right? Would you would would a bank uh, secure an IPO for an individual who's facing ninety one felony charges if they really believe that and that he was a fucking danger to anybody? Uh oh, we're going down. We're going down. Look at that. See how it's trading. It was high as seventy five. We're down to sixty nine right now. Sixty nine fifty. Right. So it's it's uh it's jumping around. The IPO price was fifty. All right. So sixty seven sixty seven fifty going down. Going down, some selling right there. That's normal. We're only in the first two minutes of trading. 66, 75, 60. Hold your gun, 65. 65, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Trump's, Trump's fucked. It's going down. It's going down. No, it's going up. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's where we are right now in America. Uh, if, if, look, if, if enough people buy this stock and hold it, I don't know who the underwriters are, but you don't get to do this unless the underwriters are real. It could be Goldman Sachs. It's most likely J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, Morgan Stanley, fucking all of them. They're all on uh, BlackRock. Uh, whenever they come in and they and they uh, look, if Trump has 58 percent of the float, the public is currently buying maybe 20 or 30 percent. The the hedge funds own Another 10 and 15 percent. Right. They don't fuck around. They want their money. Right. They got shares at, at you know, twenty dollars or something. Right? And they want that shit to go up. So um, Trump now on the right side of history, uh, 
making some making some cash. Trump is Trump is cashing in. Right? He thought he was out. Right? Never count out Trump, man. Then don't count him out. Next president of the United States now flushing cash. He's on every ballot in the in the country. He's running. He's the Republican front runner. No more Nikki Haley. No more Vivek. No more Chris Christie. They're all gone. Ron DeSantis probably going to be the VP. I think I think Ron DeSantis might be the VP. Hare Krishna. Trump's looking for somebody local. Hare Rama. I'll see you guys, man. Enjoy. Rama. Right, giving you the Trump. I gave it to you, TJ. TJT. Bye. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama